Okay. This is going to be, this is the plans to the, the workshop that I'm going to call a house. Uh, you know, here's my favorite page first. This uh, shows the structure, and that's what's going to be unique about the place. Um, it's going to be made from 30 inch beams, uh, 5 8 inch flans with a, uh, a, 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 a uh, I'm sorry, a 5 16 web um, by, by 30 inches, 8 inch flange by 5 8 uh, It's going to be one piece, this whole welded together piece, uh, poured concrete floor with decking on top with at, at almost 1,100 square feet up top and what is it? the first floor is going to have about 1,200 it's going to be inside the walls 20, uh, 26 by 46 and the, the footprint will be 48 by, by 28 um, it's going to be about 50 yards for the slab with a 6 inch floor and rebar going between it uh, it'll have it's, it's going to ramp up at uh, you know 45 so that where it'll be a, a foot and a half in foot and a half in plus to four feet is eight three eleven minus 28 so you'll have 17 feet between there and then on the 16 these are 16 feet on center right here so you're going to have it the the, the, the footer the uh, not an outside wall, but in, inside wall, um, bearing, whatever, I don't know. The, the footer that connects between the beams will be, uh, uh, th that's going to be two feet wide, but it's also going to taper up like these. So you, you're going to have, uh, at a 16-foot at a center, you'll have uh, two and a half feet from each. So you'll have 11 feet where it's just six inches. So 11 by 17 will be the six-inch thick slab that's that's in the center of the three rectangles that, that go down the garage like 11 by 17 11 by 17 11 by 17 will be six inches thick uh, you can see the outline where it's four by four on the pads for the uh, beams which are again 30 inches um, I'm using uh, a 10 uh, three quarter by 16 uh, anchor bolts with each one and it'll actually be a little more integral than these because I'm I'm I'm, I'm just taking uh, number seven rebar, putting the threads on it in, in the lathe, and uh, then, then bending them so that they actually come out. Uh, it'll be a little bit more tied in than than this. Uh, got the plans signed and sealed three years ago. Um, it's been a while in the making. I've got about 50% of the materials. The, the beams I got, it was a single purchase on eBay. Um, there was a, uh, an arena that was originally the, the Pirate's World arena. When they had Pirate's World down in Dania, Florida, they, I think they closed it right around the time Disney came around. Um, but they continued to have concerts in that 160 foot by 200 foot arena uh, till about 78 when it was taken down. And these nice guys, uh, they, they had a metal fabrication business. They took all the, uh, the weld-ons for the purlin, uh, any, any cable anchors. They, they basically stripped down the beams to, to just the, the, the flanges on the ends and the actual beams themselves. Uh, and then gave them a nice thick coat of paint and put them in storage where I would go and get them... Uh, uh, 20, uh, 35 years later, yeah, from 78 to 2013, they were in storage. Uh, maybe a little bit, maybe it was 14. Uh, anyway, r right after I got the beams, I knew I was using those, so I was able to get my plans done because I, I had a few different. I had thought about using uh, W12 or W16 beams because this is the uh, what's going to be the garage. Uh, in the in the final version of the house and this will be my my garage with the 10,000 pound gantry crane that can slide back and forth on the 30 inch beams and you know the, the poured 
concrete deck for the second uh, story, 1,100 square feet. Um, the, the house also going to do um, 16 foot centers, but the uh, the beams are a lot a little bit bigger. Mm, they widen out to five feet wide at where they meet, and uh, then they taper down to two and a half feet. They're, they're 33 feet long. Originally, they had a, a, a 20 foot eave with the 33 foot beams, then a 25 foot beam on each side, and then another 25 foot to get the 160 foot span. Uh, but I'm just using the meaty part of it. And a lot of it's for the look, a little bit's for the uh, being, you know, it's, it's pretty, you need a lot more than a category five to uh, take it down. It works out to about 180 miles an hour to at the, what would be the weak point, which would be the 10 inch 14 gauge purlin, which is six foot on centers and spanning 16 feet. Uh, but it worked out to about 180 mile an hour. Uh, uh, winds to 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 pull pull those loose, but even that it's going to be uh, the the two pound density spray foam that's going to be going all around these uh, uh, purlin, and that's really going to tie everything in even li a little bit better. So and that should also uh, we're going to spray that to uh, I guess whatever it is uh, seven inches to get that R50 um, rating. Uh, there's, I'm kind of doing a lot of the, a lot of unique things with it. Uh, it's going to have a, um, a air conditioner coils will will be cooled in a in a water cooling tank that is has lines running down towards towards the lake. It's on a 500 foot by about 95 foot lot. Uh, this is going to be put up first, and. Uh, technically, you know, it'll be a two-story home. It, it's not a garage. Uh, it's a two-story home with 1,500 square feet on the on downstairs with a minimum of, uh, I believe, 1,250 is their minimum. But it's it's going to have uh, 750 downstairs. Uh, actually, seven 762 are going to be the air-conditioned living space downstairs with 1080 upstairs, total living area of 1842 with a garage of uh, 495 square feet anyway 22 22 24 upstairs and downstairs and then in a later date uh, the big beams will come in and be the house that's uh, got a footprint of 60 by 72 with a lot of porch at each end it's, it's not going to be that big of a house um, now the peak uh, in, in, inside right here is about 14 feet 12 foot here uh, from floor to ceiling uh, about 14 well minus the decking three inches uh, so just just shy of about 14 feet from here to here and then 10 inch purlin and a, a two inch foam sandwich uh, bar panel uh, 27 just over 27 feet at the peak the house will be just over uh, 32 feet at the peak and inside it will be just on uh, right about 31 foot at the peak uh, when, when you look up and now look out on the lake all the materials were, were gotten on Craigslist or eBay um, like the the air handlers I got three it doesn't sound like enough we'll see what happens but I got I got um, three two-ton air handlers and three two-ton outside units we'll, we'll see where that goes uh, originally I had about 7,200 square feet of metal building insulation uh, that I got a great deal on back in 2011 um, when I was planning on building a steel building. Um, I, I later decided to use foam, sold all that. Um, I've, I've purchased all the rebar. Uh, the rebar that I'm using on the house was um, left over from a Dick Sporting Goods. The rebar. Uh, uh, the rebar guy had an ad on Craigslist. Uh, basically, got it for at the time scrap value, which was it worked out to about ten cents a pound. Um, so that, that's going to it's going to have a, uh, a, a two bath. The the garage bath will be under the seven foot landing of the stairway that that uh, has two landings, and that garage bathroom. Well. The, the downstairs bathroom 
which will later be the garage bathroom. Um, it'll, it'll be kind of a wet bath where it's got, you know, the tiled floors and tile walls where I can just hose it down. Um, I also have a, a 55 gallon, um, one of those trash receptacles full of one inch colored tile that, I don't know, might, might use that in some areas. Um, let me go to the front page now. This is the, uh, the elevation. Uh, it basically looks like a regular three car garage. It's, it's uh, the scale's a little bit deceiving because typically this would be about eight feet and this, this would be maybe, uh, you know, with, with the steep roof, you're still uh, gonna figure it's only gonna be about 20 feet right here. But this is gonna be 27 feet you can see how it's going to come out at the ends. So you're going to have about 30 feet by 16 feet for a 480 foot great room inside. Uh, that's going to be where we'll live until uh, the, the house that's going to be kind of right here uh, sitting. This will be the front of the garage. Uh, and the front of the house will be uh, uh, tilted this way, I guess, toward looking out towards the lake. Um, we're we're right here on a map of Highlands County, which puts us just over the 130 wind speed limit line. Again, uh, it should be good for about 180, so that's not really an issue. I guess the windows would actually probably be the weak point, but when you put the shutters on, they're not the weak point anymore. So uh, it should do pretty well. The the garage doors, they've got them down here as standard um, roll-up doors but they will most likely be the hydraulic uh, so I can work in the shade when I'm doing stuff outside. So this is the back of the house. And this will be the 16 foot by 30 foot great room. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty simple design because it's, it's more or less the, the future garage. Um, so it's not, not too, too fancy. This will be the kitchen upstairs. We'll look out towards the lake. So uh, I, I know a couple times a year, uh, people come to the Sebring races. Like Sebring's the place to go. It's starting to be a real popular uh, place for everybody to show up at the same time of the year. And uh, a little 1,100 square foot place like this. Um, it's right off 27 on the lake. Uh, you know, they get about 3,000 a week. So it, so uh, it'll be nice to, you know, a little extra income. Um, on the, the floor plan. Um, you can see there's two landings on the stairway that I mentioned before. Uh, it'll be seven feet top of the landing, and you'll have a, if, if if you were standing where the tank is, you'd have about five feet. If you're standing in front of the toilet, uh, you, you've got about six feet. It's pretty close. I mean, you um, you know, you're only gonna have one step and then a little bit of room below that step because uh, you got it's seven about seven feet at this landing right here. Is it? I don't know. Maybe it's seven six. I don't know. Uh, uh, he's got eleven inch treads going all the way. I, I basically uh, drew out what I wanted and then gave the uh, architect that used to be a general contractor um, gave him profiles on all the. I, I did it in, uh, in draft site and gave him a, a DXF file that would work for his year of uh, AutoCAD with all the profiles of the different odd metal pieces I'd be using. Uh, and it's basically just the garage. It shows a wall here because you have to have 750 square feet of living area. You can't just build a garage. Uh, you can't just build a garage. So. You have to have, you can build a two-story house that's got 750 square feet of living area on the first floor and whatever works out to you on the second floor. I think a minimum of 12, 1,500 square feet, I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, living area that will, that we have to have by code for the first floor. Now eventually this will be uh, the garage to the house that will be, if this is the garage sitting right here, the house will be sitting basically a, a 60 by 72 pointed out towards the lake right here. Um, and at that point, we'll, we'll 
you know, it'll be like a renovation kind of thing where we add on a house to the house. We're basically doing a, it'll be like a 3,000 square foot add-on. Uh, and then that add-on will make it so that uh, this is all garage. Whereas before it'll just be an air-conditioned shop, I guess. Uh, but you know, you gotta fit with the rules and uh, that allows me to live upstairs uh, while, while we're building the house. Um, and, and actually, we're, we're probably uh, gonna have an actual walled up area and, and have the sort of master bedroom be downstairs with the kids up here. But you can see the, the living room, you've got, uh, it shows uh, 20, 29 and a half feet from wall to wall with a little bit of a narrow area for uh, 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 linen that goes this way. I thought it went that way into the bathroom, but I guess it'll just be a little, uh, I guess it's just shelves, however he drew it out. Um, I told him I wanted the air handler on one side and the water heater on the other, because this will kind of be like a little office area with probably a half wall or something there, uh, and still plenty of room for uh, the main room. Mm, kitchen, dinette kind of area up there. Uh, basically an open floor plan like this with 1,100 square feet. Um,